Welcome dear students. Today we will be starting with a new chapter, chapter number 7, percent and percentage. Right. So let's see uh, what is the meaning of percent. So percent means out of 100. Okay. So remember uh, the sign of percentage. Okay. So after understanding the meaning of percent which is out of 100 let's understand what is percentage so percentage means nothing but this particular sign okay and this particular sign is equivalent to 1 by 100 okay so these are the things that you need to understand this sign means 1 by 100 okay so having understood this much let's see the first question so I'm taking from 7a, exercise 7a, question number 1, sub number 2. So you need to evaluate this particular expression. I'm sure that you are aware of what do you mean by of. Of means multiplication, right? So let's see the solution of this. So this will be equals to, first you will write this particular expression. So this is nothing but 9.3, I told you percent is 1 by 100. 100 or rather you can do this also instead of writing this what you can do is you can write by 100 also okay so we have of office into we have 500 minus similarly we have 4.8 percent means divided by 100 into of means into we have 250 minus similarly we will get 2.5 by 100 into 240 okay so you just need to simplify here so you see 0 and 0 0 and 0 gets cancelled similarly this 0 and 0 also gets cancelled this 0 and 0 also gets cancelled right okay so we have 9.3 into 5 so first let's convert them into fractions that will be better so we have 9.3 can be written as 93 by 10 into we have 5 minus okay similarly let's convert this so you have 4.8 can be written as 48 divided by we have 10 so it becomes divided by 100 okay so into we have 25 minus so we have 2.5 which can be written as 25 by 10 is there so this becomes 100 into we have 24 right so let's see uh, the cancellation here so here first and foremost we can cancel this one 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 right similarly 25 ones are 25 25 fours are 100 so 4 ones are 4 4 ones are 4 4 twos are 8 right similarly 25 1 we have got 4 so 4 ones are 4 4 6 is 24 right so here we have 93 by Okay, remember 93 by 2 can be written as, so if you convert 93 by 2 into decimal, it becomes, so it becomes 2, 4, 8, okay, carry over 1, 13, so 2, 6, 12, so we put decimal and we get 0. 0.5, so 93 by 2 can be written as 46.5, minus here how much left, only 12 into 1, that is 12 is left. Similarly, here how much is left? Here only 6 is left. Okay. So, we have 46.5 minus 12 minus 6 is minus 18. Now, let's subtract. So, it becomes, right. So, first uh, we'll put 0.5. So, 6 minus 8, not possible. So, 16 minus 8 gives you 8. So, carry it over. Here only we have got 3. So, 3, one, three minus 1 is how much? It is 2. So that's why your answer turns out to be 28.5 in this case. Was it easy? Right. So you may pause the video and note down your solution. Let's take another question. Question says, a number is increased. I'm taking question number two, sub number one. A number is increased from 125 to 150. So you need to find the percentage increase okay so 
there is a formula for calculating this percentage increase okay so i'll write the formula here so we have percentage increase let's not write increase sometimes it can be decreased also so let me write percentage change okay so it is nothing but change in value okay so change in value divided by original value into 100 percent okay so this is the meaning of percentage change okay so change sometimes it can be this change can be either increased or it can be decreased and in this case our change is increased okay so question is asking you to find percentage increase that is percentage increase will be increase in value okay so first let's find increase in value because change here is increase so that's why it becomes increase in value so we have increase in value okay so given is what is original value see original is 125 because this 125 is changed right so original value is given to be how much it is given to be 125 okay so increase in value so we have increase or change we can say so increase in value so how much is increased it is increased by so 150 minus 125 which is 25 so 125 is increased by how much 25 okay so therefore percentage increase okay so your percentage increase is going to be equal to so as per this formula change in value is nothing but increase in value okay so we have increase in value divided by original value right so original value into we have 100 percent so let's put the value now increase in value so increase in value is 25 by original value is 125 into we have 100 percent so let's quickly calculate this after doing the cancel cancellations so we have 25 one so 25 into 5 gives you 125 so 5 ones are 5 5 20 is 100 so that's why your answer okay so your answer turns out to be that is percentage increases 20 percent so this is your answer okay so you may note down this formula separately and you may start your solution from here onwards okay so you may pause the video and note down your solution let's take this question now in this question we have got the case of decreased okay so you are asked to find percentage decrease so like earlier ones we will write what is the original value so what is the original value original value of C we have got 125 and 100 since it is decreased to 100 your original number is 125 only again okay so original value is 125 okay now this time decrease in value okay so decrease in value by how much it is decreased okay so decrease it is decreased by obviously 125 minus 100 which is how much it is exactly 25 isn't it decreasing it is decreased by you clearly see that it is decreased by 25 isn't it okay so decrease in value is 25 so therefore percentage decrease that's what the question is asking you to find so percentage decrease so as per that formula we have change in value that is decrease in value okay so we have decrease in value divided by original value original value into 100 percent okay let's put the value so decrease in value so decrease in value is 25 so 25 by 125 into we have 100 percent okay so this is also similar to earlier problem so do the cancellation it exactly turns out to be 20 percent again right so pause the video and 
note down your solution. Okay, so let's take next question. So question is a bit tricky. You need to understand what is being asked here. So three sub number two. Question is asking you to find 2.7 is what percent of 18? Okay, 2.7 is what percent of 18? Okay, so in such case, what we'll do is we'll do take the assumption. Okay, so let 2.7 be the x percent of 18 okay and so basically we need to find the value of x here okay so therefore we have see 2.7 is the x percent of 18 so we can say that x percent of 18 is how much 2.7 now you are asked to find what is the value of x now all of you know x percent means into 1 by 100 which can be written as divided by 100 also of means into so we have 18 so 2.7 can you write this as 27 by 10 can you do that obviously right so let's do this now let's do the uh, let's uh, shift 100 here in the numerator and let's shift it into the denominator so from here what you get is x equals to 27 so this 100 comes to the numerator divided by we have 10 here and this 18 goes to the denominator so we have 0 and 0 gets cancelled right so let's cancel with 9 so 9 2 is a 18 9 3 is a 27 so again 2 1 is a 2 2 5 is a 10 so when you simplify this it turns out to be 15 isn't it 3 into 5 is how much 15 right so therefore we say at last that 2.7 is the is the 15 percent of how much 15 percent of 18 right so that's how we need to do this kind of sum kindly pause the video and note down your solution now let's look at this particular problem Question number four, sub number one. Here, question says, 252 is 35% of a certain number. Find the number. Okay, so as usual, we will take the assumption. So let the required, let the required number be x. Okay, now what does this mean? According to question, it means that 35% of a certain number that is x okay so 35% of x is given to be how much it is given to be 252 now from here you need to find what is the value of x right so we have 35% means 35 by 100 of means into we have x equals to 252 okay so let's do the okay so let's uh, first transfer this number to the right hand side so you get only x out here so we get 252 into 100 divided by this 35 goes to the denominator right so let's do the cancellation now so with 5 so 5 7 is a 35 5 2 is a 10 so 20 right so, so with 7 let's try 7 uh, we have 7 3 is a 21 so carry it over how much 4 right so 7 6 is a 42 okay so 7 1 is a 7 so when you multiply these two how much do you get you get this equals to 2 into 6 is 12 carry it over 1 2 3 is a 6 plus 1 7 and we have got 0 also so the value of x turns out to be 720 so that's why we write therefore the required the required number is 720 okay so pause the video and note down your solution okay so here again the number uh, this kind of sum we have already done so you have to find percentage change okay when the number is changed from 6.25 to 7.50 so basically there is an increase right so basically percentage change means you are, you have to find percentage increase here okay so 
what is given is what is the original number by the way the first number is original number here because it is being changed 6.25 is being changed to 7.50 isn't it so that's why we have original number is given to be or originally you can say value okay so original value is given to be 6.25 okay now let's see what is the increase value okay so we have increase or you can say just change in value okay so just write change in value so we have change in value is equal to so we have 7.50 minus 6.25 okay so by this much this particular number has been changed so when you subtract so 50 minus 25 is 25 so this is after decimal so before decimal we have 7 minus 6 which is 1 okay so this is the change in value so therefore percentage percentage change so we have the value of percentage change so as per the formula it is change in value first is change in value divided by original value isn't it original value into 100 percent right so let's put the value now so we have a change in values 1.25 divided by original value original value is 6.25 into we have 100 percent okay so we have see after decimal how many digits are there you see after decimal we have got two digits and here also after decimal we have got two digits okay so in such case okay if both numerator and denominator has same number of digits after decimal then decimals can be removed okay so you must be remembering this so that's why this can be written as 125 by 625 okay i have removed the decimal because after decimal numerator also contains two digits and uh, denominator also contains two digits okay so we have into 100 percent okay so let's quickly calculate this now again so if you do with 5 okay let's directly cancel with 5 uh, 25 so when you cancel with 25 this becomes 5 okay and this becomes 25 okay now 5 ones are 5 5 5 is a 25 again 5 ones are 5 5 20 is a 100 so that's why your final answer that is percentage change again turns out to be 20 percent in this case as well right so you may pause the video and note down your solution today we'll do only this much thank you very much